on a hilltop in eastern Turkey called Gobekli Tepe. Archaeologists have unearthed an 11,000-year-old complex of standing stones. It's the oldest monumental structure on Earth and predates Stonehenge by 6,000 years. Archaeologists have discovered it was erected by hunter-gatherers, obliterating the theory that nomadic tribes never built in stone. Its intricate carvings suggest a people at one with nature in a landscape brimming with wildlife, from pigs to birds, wild cats, and serpents. The world's media quickly connected Gobekli Tepe to the Bible's most famous story, the Garden of Eden. That story is at the foundation of Western thought. Whether we like it or not, that story is embedded in our worldview. It doesn't matter whether they're talking about Buddhists or Hindus or Jews or Christians or Muslims. The human being is designed to want to fill the brain that we have with more and more understanding. And there is something about trying to understand why we are really here. For many, the search begins in the Old Testament, with the clues laid out in the text of Genesis chapters 2 and 3. It describes an earthly paradise at the point where four rivers split. Now, of the four rivers mentioned in the Bible as coming out of the garden, two of them are the Tigris and Euphrates. That means the Garden of Eden has got to be somewhere up there in the northern regions of what was Mesopotamia and today is Turkey. While Gobekli Tepe sits right in the sweet spot for this biblical hunt, Gobekli Tepe is not the first place to be held up as a possible original paradise. Over the centuries, scholars have claimed that other ancient Mesopotamian sites could be Eden. You have people claiming that the Garden of Eden is in southern Mesopotamia, near the Persian Gulf. You've got people claiming that it's northern Mesopotamia in Turkey. What this shows is very simply, A, we don't know, and B, these people miss the point. For most scholars, the hunt for the biblical paradise is futile. For the faithful, the book of Genesis tells a theological story, not one that can be proven with archaeology.